Okay, guys, today's lecture is on the convection and the mantle. And the first thing we want to do is we want to answer the question, what causes convection currents in Earth's mantle? To explain how heat moves from Earth's core through the mantle, you need to know how heat is transferred. There are three types of heat transfer. They are radiation, conduction, and convection. Now, radiation is the transfer of energy through empty space. It has no direct contact between the, head, the heat source and an object. For example, we have sunlight warming Earth's surface. Uh, other examples might be, uh, other examples might be uh, when you get too close to your pot of boiling water or too, too close to a heat source um, you, you, and you start to feel it getting hot. Or if you're just standing next to someone and you, like they've been exercising, and you can feel that they've that, that their body is giving off heat. That's another example of radiation. The next one is conduction. And conduction is the heat transfer by direct contact of particles of matter. So for example, a metal spoon heating up in a pot of hot pot of hot soup. Where you put the metal spoon in there and, it, and the heat climbs up the uh, climbs up the spoon so that when you touch it and it's not even inside the pot, it's hot. The third kind is convection. Convection is the transfer of heat by the movement of a heated fluid, which includes liquids and gases. Heat transfer by convection is caused by differences in temperature and density within a fluid. Now, density, to review, because we've covered this before, is the measure of how much mass there is in a volume of a substance. And our example here is heating water that's on a stove. As water on the bottom of your, your water gets hot, it's, it expands and it becomes less dense and it rises. And when the surface water starts to cool down, it becomes denser and moves to the bottom, causing a convection current or the flow that transfers heat. And we saw this when we mixed the red and blue waters and we created a warm layer on top and a blue layer on bottom. Well, that's where, it's, that's where these uh, waters want to be by themselves. But if the heat source is on the bottom, then you have, uh, then you have a motion of, of the water that, that, that creates this current. Now, these convection currents flow in the mantle. The heat source is the Earth's core and from the mantle itself. There's a lot of pressure down there and radiation, radioactive elements creating heat. These currents have been acting like a conveyor belt moving the lithosphere above it for the past four billion years. And this is what it looks like. Okay, so we have, so what does the model of our Earth look like now? We have the inner core and the outer core made of iron and nickel, where the inner is solid and the outer is the, the, the liquid iron and nickel. And then around that, we have, on the very outside of the planet, we have a crust. And so what's in between is the mantle. And the mantle has different layers of temperature to it. And because it has different layers of temperature to it, the rock itself expands and contracts as it moves from the core out to the outer mantle. And when it does that, we create our convection currents. Now you may notice that the convection currents, uh, they kind of create circles underneath. And when two circles rise together, when they get to the surface, when they get to the crust, they start to separate. And when they separate, now mind you, this is 700 kilometers of mantle from the bottom. The, the, the hot rock rises up 700, 700 kilometers through the mantle up to the asthenosphere, which is the cool part on the top, and create what's called a ridge. And the ridge is the part where the mantle is flowing up and it pokes through the surface. And when it pokes through the surface, then we create things like volcanoes or uh, mid-ocean ridges, and it causes the, the, the sea floor to start spreading, which we'll get to in a later lecture. And there are other places where the, the, our plates start to dive underneath other ones, and all of our plates are, are floating on top of the mantle, and they're moving past each other. And we, we have evidence of this, is the activity that you guys are going to do later on today. Um, so the, the, the rising, the convection currents cause the mantle to rise and fall, and the circular motion floats the tectonic plates past each other, and sometimes we have massive collisions, and those are earthquakes. Okay, and that's what causes mountains to rise and valleys to form and that sort of thing. So, 
so that's our so that's the model we have so far of our Earths. 